Dr. Fletcher. It's a beautiful spring day and I decided to go to a hike to prepare and get in shape for the trail. Today I'm hiking on the Long Path, which is a trail that starts at the George Washington Bridge and goes all the way close up north to Albany. So the blaze for the Long Path is kind of a turquoise blue blaze. You can see it right here. And this is what we're going to be looking for so that we don't get lost. As you can see, as I get a little closer here, sometimes the blazes are painted onto the trees and sometimes the blazes are a piece of metal that's been nailed to the tree. Also, you should be aware that sometimes the blazes on the trees are not well maintained. So for example here, you can see that the turquoise blaze is barely remaining on this tree. It's been scraped off in most places, but you can see the remnants of it. The different color that you see here, the bright magenta, means that I've come across an alternate path. I want to stick with the green path or the turquoise path that I was following, so I am not going to follow these new blazes that are a different color. Here you see two turquoise blazes. This indicates that the trail is turning to the right. Here's another two blazes. This time, the blaze that's on top is to the left, which indicates that the trail is turning to the left. I've come to a stream. On the other side of the stream, you can see the two blazes directly on top of each other and an older blaze that's there. The two blazes are just confirming that we should go straight ahead since they are directly on top of each other. This once again indicates that we should turn right. It's really important to pay attention to this because as you can see, the trail that we're currently on also appears to continue straight. So we need to know to take that side path. So follow me. Confirming that we made the right decision, there's our trusty turquoise blaze. Here's the tree where I'm turning left, but it's also a good tree to show you that sometimes they have all the blazes painted on the same tree. So if I were coming at it from this side, I would be turning right. And if I'm coming at it from this side, I'm turning left. Here we go. They've added yellow dots here to the turquoise blazes to indicate that the yellow trail and the turquoise trail have currently joined up and are following the same path. On this tree, you can see that the yellow trail and the turquoise trail each have their own separate blaze. Anytime you come to a road crossing, you gotta keep your eyes out for where the path continues on the other side. In this case, it's pretty easy to find us. I'll show you in just a second once this car passes us. Here you can see the turquoise blaze and also the long path signal. When you're hiking, you will often see a white blaze for the Appalachian Trail and an AT signal as well. Sometimes you have to pay attention because the tree with the blaze may have fallen in a storm, as you can see here. If a suitable tree can't be found, you may also come across blazes that are painted on rocks 
and other objects on the ground. Blazes can even be on objects like the support post of a bridge. This was a tricky spot. I initially missed the turn and followed this path, not seeing the blaze that was down on that tree. I'll show you in a minute. And also because the turn was marked on a stone here. So luckily I got about a hundred yards and then realized that I wasn't seeing the blazes anymore before I turned back retraced my steps and looked for the turn, which I found here. So once again, it's on the tree here, the turn here, and then I'll walk down all the way to here so you can see it. I want to spend a minute here just showing you some of the blazes. So as you already know, this trail is gonna turn right because you see our trusty turquoise blaze with the second blaze above and to the right of the lower blaze. But this is also a juncture of several trails, including, as you can see on this side, the orange trail. Now you haven't seen three blazes like this before, but this indicates the beginning or the end of a trail, or in other words, a trailhead. You can see that the orange trail goes off in this direction. But once again, our trusty turquoise trail and also the yellow trail that you see here is turning to the right. They put an extra arrow in place just to confirm to us and reassure us that the trail was turning to the right. Again, because this is a juncture of several trails. If you're ever hiking and you come across a sign that says posted, you need to be careful because you are in danger of trespassing on private property. As you can see, the turquoise blaze is on the same tree and the trail that I'm hiking goes right past the cemetery. When you're hiking the Appalachian Trail, there are points where you are going to come across posted signs and you will be right next to private property. And so you need to be respectful of the property and stay off of it. Sometimes a trail will go through an urban area. You can see here. The Appalachian Trail goes through Harpers Ferry, West Virginia and several other small cities along its way. This is a dangerous spot where the trail markers indicate that I need to cross this busy road. You can see all the traffic. Very careful when I do this. I've crossed the road and I'm ready to keep going. 